Hey, so you want to use Blender for your 3D printing projects? No problem. I'll show you how to import your models from Blender into Prusa Slicer and fix some of the common issues that you may see. Well, let's get into it. Before we get started, you will need a slicer. It doesn't really matter which, but if you want consistency with the tutorial, I'll be using Prusa Slicer. And no, it doesn't just work with Prusa printers, even though I'll be using a Prusa Mini. Anyways, you also need to make sure that you have Blender and you have the 3D printing toolbox add-on enabled. Which should be installed by default, all you need to do is go to Preferences, Add-ons, and search 3D Print Toolbox, and enable it. This add-on really just makes the exporting and cleaning up process way easier. Before we do anything with exporting, let's just make sure the units are correct. On default, it's meters with unit scale of 1. We actually want this to be in millimeters and the unit scale of 0 0.001. This makes it so that the model will be in correct scale when putting it into the slicer. If you already have the model you want to export, like this demo I have here with a turkey that I made, you could check the size of the object by checking the edges by going into edit mode, then overlays, and then edge length. Then select what le edges you want to see the length of. If they're the wrong scale, you could scale it in edit mode. But first, I would actually recommend going into object and hitting command A to reset scale, then going back into edit mode, and the length actually might be different. This would be caused because you scaled the model in object mode, which is another likely reason your object won't be the correct scale in the slicer. Now that we have the correct size, we can finally export the model using the add-on we enabled. All you need to do is select the model, then hit N for the side panel, and select 3D Print Toolbox. You will see that there is an export button, assign an area you want it to be when you export it, and then hit the export. It really is that simple. Now that we have the SDL, we can add it to the slicer. With Prusa, you will need to find what printer you're using, select it. For me, it was the Prusa Mini. Typically, the default settings for that printer that you're using will be good, but if they're not, or you don't see your printer, I would recommend watching some slicer tutorials. Really, the only settings I change is disabling the brim, though depending on your model, you may need to also add supports. Typically, if you're designing it, I would try to avoid it when possible. To import the model, you can hit the cube icon. Most likely, it won't be rotated the correct direction, in which case, you can change the rotation with the rotation icon, or my preferred method is hitting F and then selecting the face you want it to be flat on when it's printing. Then you can hit the slice button to slice it. This will be where you see any issues if you have any. Majority of the time, unless the model is too small or you have faces without any thickness, I find the most common error is the faces being the wrong direction. This is actually quite a simple fix. Back in Blender, you could see the face direction by going into overlays and then face orientation, which will show you blue faces for the right direction and red for the wrong direction. To flip the faces, go into edit mode, select the model, hit option N, for the recalculated options. Recalculating outside is typically what you want since blue will go outside, though if you have specific faces that you want flipped, then just select those faces and select flip. If this doesn't solve your problem, then you probably accidentally left a hole in your model, duplicated faces, or have intersecting faces that you didn't mean to have. If you're lucky, you can solve this by simply clicking Make Manifold in 3D Print Add-on, which would try and fix your model. Though, Prusa Slicer also will oftentimes try and fix your model, which both of them have varying results. If you're wanting to make sure that the model is right from Blender from the get-go, and Make Manifold doesn't work, you will manually need to fix these errors in the model, which unfortunately can be a bit time-consuming. Again, the main things I would check for is intersecting faces and holes in the model. Also, duplicated faces can be quite annoying because you don't realize there's duplicated faces there. A fix for trying to fix the overlapping faces it, that I typically always try is selecting the entire model, then hitting M and hitting Merge by Distance. This will oftentimes fix the issue because there's duplicated ver faces and vertices that will be merged, but then again, this doesn't always work because it's slightly scaled in the wrong direction, which can cause errors. That will hopefully cover the majority of errors you have relating to your model, but some other nice things to note is that you could actually select multiple objects at once and export them as an SDL. The reason this can be nice is if you have multiple objects that print in place, for example, like this Mickey turkey demo, I wanted the Mickey part to rotate, so I made it a separate model 
that I want exported as one. So by selecting them both, I can export them, and then in the slicer I'm able to have them sliced together instead of having to place it in the right spot. This can also be useful if you want objects that you want to merge together without having to use a boolean modifier. Though if this doesn't work, I would still resort it back to the boolean modifier, because occasionally it has issues because of the overlapping faces. There we have it, hopefully that cleared up most of your questions on how to import models from Blender into your slicer and then 3D print it. All you need to do to get it to 3D print once in the slicer is hit export and it should call up a panel and save it to your SD card and then you can put it on your printer. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments, otherwise thanks for watching. By the way, here's some extra footage of that Mickey turkey demo that I 3D printed and you can find it on printables if you want it. Anyways, I'll see you later.